Our last top 5 kicked off the new year for 2019, the top spot going to the crossover of Disney stars in Kingdom Hearts 3. While this month sticks to the more traditional storytelling, there are a few titles that bring in some intriguing narratives that aren't as straightforward as you might think, bringing undead minions, dangerous planets to explore, and a range of abilities that are simply godlike. Let's delve in into the month of February. Honourable mention, Nier Automata Game of the Euro Edition. Nier Automata has sold over 3.5 million copies worldwide, making Nier Automata a huge hit with its fast-paced action combat and intriguing Android storyline. It only seems fitting it would be getting a Game of the Year Edition or Game of the Euro Edition. Set in a desolate open world that is void of humanity, Nier Automata haughtingly intrigues players with its Android storyline and fierce action. In a story that follows 2B, 9S and A2 as they fight to reclaim the machine run world, they will battle it out with powerful machine life forms. While the game is a sequel to Nier, players will not need to know what happened in the previous game, but those who have played it will enjoy little easter eggs that pop up now and again. The game of the Euro edition comes with a DLC expansion based game skins, PS4 avatars and PS4 dynamic theme. Nier Automata the game of the Euro edition will release on February 26 on PlayStation 4 and PC. At number 5, Irita's Lord of the Dead. Irita's Lord of the Dead is a tactical RPG fantasy drawing inspiration from the darkest dungeon. Setting a twist in the usual good versus evil, this dark fantasy turns it on its head, as you'll be playing the side of evil. It's more fun this side anyway. Players are enlisted to help Heratus escape from the dungeon where he has been imprisoned for many years. Armed with powers of necromancy, craft your minions from the body parts of your dead foes. After all, you can't let them go to the waste now, can you? Use alchemy, magic and tactical skills to defeat your adversaries in a strategy turn-based style. Each type of undead minion has their own special ultimate that you can choose to take advantage of but in return it will cost your resources. Choose Aratus himself to cast powerful spells if you have the mana to spend. Those who are fans of the Lovecraftian universe will notice the inspiration in the Santi meter. Use it to your will to defeat the living. Unfrozen the indie developer that put the game on Kickstarter last year to gain additional funding, they are set to release Iritus Lord of the Dead on February 14th for PC, Mac, Linux via Steam. At number 4, Death End Request. The story follows Arita who receives an email from his former colleague Shina Nyomiya, who went missing a year prior to the events of the game. It's in this email that Arita realises that Shina is trapped within the walls of the virtual reality MMORPG called World Odyssey. The game, although had ceased development, is now holding her captive as the only player in the misshapen form of version of itself. The virtual world has now become ridden with bug-like monsters that are searching for their next victim. Arita's only way of saving her is by completing the game to unlock the perfect ending, but the success rate is set at 1%. Mixing fantasy with reality, can Sheena be saved? Taking the classic 10 based style RPG, adding a new twist by allowing players to switch between different game modes. Choosing from fighter to shooter to even slot mode, this turn based battle system brings a group of three members to battle. Each character has different abilities to choose from. Each turn starts with the character's flexibility to move freely so they can perform combos or choose to attack outside the enemy's range to help keep their team safe. Death End Re Request is set to release on February 19th on PlayStation 4. At number 3, God Eater 3. In the next installment of the series, God Eater 3 follows events of a sudden mysterious life form that begins its uncontrollable quest to consume life on Earth. Its insatiable appetite and quick ability to learn makes it the deadliest foes you could ever face. They have been given the name Aragami. These beasts only leave destruction and misery in their path. In order to fight back, individuals known as God Eaters wield special weapons powered by oracle cells. These are the only known way to stop the Aragami. But this is not the only battle brewing, a fight between light and dark is wearing thin. God Eater 3 combines action combat with abilities to dive, use burst arts, plugins and more. Use skill install which allows you to equip god arc skills for your chosen weapon to increase health points, slash attacks or speed buffs with these items. A new passive skill has been added called Acceleration Trigger which strengthens a player's resolve giving the upper hand during opportune moments. God Eater 3 releases exclusively on PlayStation 4 on February 8th. At number 2, Path of Exile. Path of Exile the action RPG was originally meant to release at the end of last year for PlayStation 4 but was delayed until 2019. It finally gets its release this February. Those who are fans of Diablo 3 will see some inspiration in this title. Set in the dark fancy world of Rayclass, a harsh continent that has seen many mysterious catastrophes shaped by the past. Various creatures have inhabited the nightmarish land and are ready to challenge exiles that dare venture its lands. 
players can choose from a variety of abilities using the skill gem system, which also includes valuable items. These will grant different abilities when combined with equipment. Each character class shares a highly extensive passive tree, with seven distinct locations dependent on class. Using the Keystone Passage can dramatically change the way your character is played, meaning tons of versatility. Path of Exile comes to PlayStation 4 this February 2019. At number 1, Anthem. Bioware is back with a new IP this time. It's a sci-fi jetpacked adventure called Anthem, best known for their influence on the RPG genre with the Mass Effect and the Dragon Age franchise. This time, Bioware ventures into a harsh environment that threatens humanity. Players will choose powerful javelin exosuits, each with great abilities to help even the playing field with the masses of beasts and creatures that have inhabited the land. The lore focuses on mythical gods that created a planet that disappeared before it was finished and a mighty power called Anthem. The game features multiplayer hunts, raiding and collecting loot to upgrade your powerful exosuit. Choose from four types that each hold their own uses. The Ranger which brings a balance of skills to the game, an all-rounder that has some speed and firepower. Choose classes for a more tank-like build, use your shield to take any heavy hits. Storm is just like it sounds, an elemental class that is ready to deal damage and support your team. Interceptor features light armor, can pack a mighty punch and counter attacks in the nick of time by dashing away. While a lot of highlights featured by Bioware have been co-op, they have mentioned that you can play with friends or fly solo through the story. Anthem is set to release on February 22nd on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. That's a wrap for the top RPGs of February. Did I miss your favourite February release? What games are you most looking forward to this year? Please let us know in the comments below.